Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel for another video. If you are new, hi, hello. I'm Darlene Marie and welcome to my channel. I like to post fashion, beauty, and the occasional mukbang videos. Actually just placed an Uber Eats order for Taco Bell. I have been wanting to try their new flaming hot um, Doritos taco. <sighs> so excited. Also, sorry about the lighting. I'm filming this on my iPhone because I don't know why, like my mic is on my camera is like something's wrong with it and I feel like I have better audio especially with my airpods that it has like the mic on the bottom I feel like you can hear the audio so much better than you would um on my camera so that is what we're doing today and it's just easier to film with my camera or my phone I feel like before I'd be like I only can use camera and now I'm like let's bring the phone out like it's pretty good it has 4k so we're good um, I got the new wild strawberry drink. I thought it's all ugly from the sticker, but that means it's good because it was covered. It was protected. So I'm okay with that. I, if you guys know me at all, like I love strawberries. So let me just drink this real quick. Mm. This is really good. I think I thought there was the candies in it, but they must have not had it. Okay. So let's go on in. Have some napkins some salsas do you guys like my little setup um so i actually filmed um a mukbang the other day <laughs> um and the quality like just i don't know why like i had the food down here on the table and it just did not look good and for some reason like it stopped recording like halfway through and i didn't even realize it so that's a bummer um but so I ended up getting um, two of the um, Doritos Flaming Hot Tacos. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this. I love that. Oh, so cute. So I ended up getting two of the Flaming Hot Tacos. And then I got, um, let's see if I can make it pretty. Oh my gosh, guys, I feel like an official mukbanger. Like, who am I? And then I got one of these, like, uh, potato grillers. I've never had this before. It just looks so good on the app. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Okay, let's take a thumbnail. I'm going to go in and take the first bite without any salsa because I want to get the true, real flavor. I'm excited. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm so glad I got two. Mm. Amazing. Amazing. It's so good. Okay. Um I did get the Supreme and oh my god, it's hot. So I did order the Supreme and I just asked for no tomatoes, but Supreme's supposed to come with sour cream and this doesn't have any sour cream. So let me go get my sour cream. So one second. So I went ahead and got my crema mexicana. This stuff is so good, guys. So good. It's kind of like a creamier sour cream. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. 10 out of 10 recommend this. It's so good. So how are you guys doing during quarantine? I know it's like a really crazy at a certain time. I actually filmed like a whole video kind of like talking about like my experience and like how I'm doing and stuff like a few videos ago. But um sorry I keep wanting to cover my mouth because like I'm talking but um, is that like, you know, you're supposed to cover your mouth in mukbangs? I don't know. But, um, yeah, like, how are you guys doing? Um, I feel like for me, I definitely, like, have my days. Like, I feel like it hits me every other day, too. Like, one day I'll be, like, good, motivated, putting on makeup, putting on a cute outfit, like, today. And then, like, tomorrow, I'll just be, like, asleep all day, 
kind of like just like relaxing and like not being productive at all. I feel like it definitely hits me in waves though. Like I'll be up, I'll be at it, I'll be good and motivated and then I'll just be like in a funk. And it's like really okay to like be that way just like you know how to like handle yourself but I don't know. hope you guys are doing good. I've literally just been cooped up in the house. I haven't really left that much. I actually went to the grocery store like two weeks ago. I don't think I've talked about it on my channel yet but I went to the grocery store about two weeks ago and I had like a little like mini anxiety attack. Like I felt like the whole store was closing in on me. Like I felt like I couldn't breathe. Like it was like one of the worst feelings I've ever felt in my entire life and I just never want to feel that way again. So for the time being, I am no longer going to the grocery store. I've never really understood anxiety or like had an anxiety attack. So it was just very new and different for me. But thankfully, I was able to like calm myself down and drink some water and like take a deep breath. I was also listening to like worship music at HEB like in the store. So that like helped me out really too. Um, but it was just like really weird just seeing everybody in face masks, seeing everyone like cautious and careful and it was just really weird. So I am no longer going to the grocery store for that reason. But um, yeah, everyone, I just hope y'all are staying safe and really doing your part to just social distance and to stay at home. Only go or meet with somebody if you absolutely have to. But if you don't, then like don't do it. Um, I'm going to take another bite. <laughs> mm. So good. But But yeah, that was like my experience and it wasn't honestly, it wasn't really a good one. Um, but like I said, we all have our days and I got like a lot of messages on Instagram of people being like, oh my God, I felt the same way. I thought I was the only one having like anxiety attacks. So I'm like, no girl, you're not the only one. Like I'm, it's definitely hitting me too. And like, I'm a person that's like very positive, pretty, like I like to see like, the, I, I don't really like to see like the negative side of things and like, I don't like to like get worked up or anxious and it definitely hit me so trust me guys you're not alone we're gonna get through this and it's gonna be okay mm. i'm done with my first taco okay so i really want to try this growler like oh just look at that it looks so good i think it has like potatoes and cheese and sour cream i think let's see I feel about this. I feel like I'm just getting like a potato. Mmm. Okay. I got the cheese finally. Yeah. It's pretty good. Would I get it again? Maybe. Maybe not. But, um, oh, I need a drink. My mouth is on fire, y'all. That is so good. That wild strawberry drink. 10 out of 10 recommend. But, um, like, okay, so I'm a person that I love spicy stuff. Obviously, like, not, like, atomic, crazy, fiery salsa. But, like, I love, like, hot Cheetos. I love anything, like, flaming hot. These are spicy. Like, I can definitely handle it, but I keep having to, like, drink something. But, oh, my God, they're so spicy. I need another. I need a break. <laughs> I need to take another bite of this. I can't believe I'm gonna my mouth. Okay, so I wanna change the subject about quarantine. I know we're all having our days. And like, trust me guys, like I can somewhat relate to you guys because I don't have a job right now. I'm not working. I don't like I'm I'm literally in this with y'all. So if you think I'm out here like making money and working and stuff, I'm not. So just keep that in mind. When I say we're in this together and I have faith in us and we're going to get through it because we are going to get through it. Because like telling, I'm telling it to you guys and I'm telling it to myself too. Um, but I want to stop talking about it. So I want this, I want this to be fun. It's, it's a fun video. So 
I asked you guys on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, by the way, totally follow me on Instagram. I post super cool stuff. I like to think I'm funny. <laughs> so go give me a follow on Instagram. My handle is always like down there on the bottom somewhere. It's at XO Darlene Marie with two E's at the end. But I actually asked you guys on Instagram to send me a few questions because they wanted to do a mukbang. Um, and I got like three questions, but that's okay. <laughs> so I actually asked you guys like on Tuesday night for questions. And I actually filmed a video. It's Saturday today, but I actually filmed a different mukbang on Wednesday. The one that like completely was like awful. Um, and right as so the, the questionnaire thing was up for like a few hours. And then once I filmed the video, I deleted it so nobody would send any questions because I wasn't going to answer them. So I only got a few questions. Um, so I want to answer them. <laughs> I wrote them down because um, I'm obviously filming on my phone and I can't check them on my phone. So, um, yeah, I'm going to answer them here. So the first one says, where do you see yourself in three years? Love you. And that's from my girl, Crystal. So in three years. Three years is not that long. It kind of is, though. Let's be real. Mm. If you guys don't know, I am in a relationship right now. Um, I can't see the logo. Oh, my gosh. I'm such a mess. <laughs> I am in a relationship, and it's going, like, really well. Um, We are doing long distance right now, which really sucks. But we will be together very, very, very soon, and I'm so excited. Our relationship has been, like, a wild ride, y'all. Um, I know, like, I've never really, like, brought him on my channel or talked about him, but maybe soon we can, like, do some fun videos together. So in three years, I definitely would like to be engaged because I feel like three years is enough time to know. <laughs> um, and at least be planning my wedding or already have been married. In three years, I'll be 30. Yeah let that sink in and crystal please don't come for me because i know every time i say that i'm old she yells at me <laughs> um but i'm getting like in my in my like for me myself like i feel like i am getting older and my life needs to hurry up and progress because like my ovaries are you know time is ticking y'all like i need to get the show on the road <laughs> so i hope that answers that question so the next question is when are you and matthew getting married um Going back to the other question, girl, all I'm going to say is I'm ready. <laughs> Put that ring on that finger. Oh, I'm getting all fired up now. It's these tacos and this drink. Like, oh my gosh, y'all, what is Taco Bell doing to me? Oh, it's so good, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got a couple more questions. And if you guys are, like, on Instagram... And you do these questionnaire things, like, is it just me or do you get, like, really weird, like, almost, like, robotic responses? Because, I mean, I'm still going to answer them because I think, I mean, I like the questions. Um, but I'll pop them up on here and, like, you guys can, like, tell, like, they're obviously, like, not authentic questions. But I'm still going to answer them because they count. <laughs> so, the first one is, do you like to travel? And my answer is yes. I feel like it's not really the smartest question to ask right now because we can't really travel anywhere, but... I do love to travel. I haven't been anywhere outside the U.S. I've been to Florida, to New York City. I've been to California. I just went um, last fall with my boyfriend. Um, I've been to like a lot of places in Texas. I actually drove to Florida with my friends. So we hit up, we went through like Louisiana, Georgia, and is that it? So I mean, I've kind of been around, but like not really. <laughs> I do want to travel a lot more. Me and my boyfriend have our bucket list of places that we definitely want to go to, but Oh my gosh, you guys, like, when I went to California, I actually did, like, a road trip up there, and I have never been to, like, West Texas. If I've ever been in Texas, it's always been, like, South or, I guess, East. I've never been, like, up the way that you go to California, and oh my god, the moment we got to New Mexico, like, I can't even describe to you guys, like, how I was feeling I like was hit with so many emotions that I didn't know how to handle it. Like I just was like, like almost like shaking because like I have never seen something so beautiful. And we're talking about the desert, you guys. Like it was so beautiful seeing like the mountains, like the cacti, the cactus, whatever you want to call them, whatever they're called. 
oh my god don't get me wrong like i love for like the hill country in texas like i love the hills and the roads and the plains but seeing the desert like brought me to tears and there was a point where like, i kept saying like oh my god oh my god like over and over because i just could not believe how beautiful the sky was and like how beautiful everything just looked like i couldn't stop saying oh my god and like i think my boyfriend could tell like i was like tearing up and he was like it's okay to cry and i like started crying <laughs> I couldn't believe I started crying, you guys, but it was, like, such a breathtaking view, you know, like, going through Arizona, like, it was, it was so beautiful, like, I definitely, like, I love the desert, like, the desert calls me, um, yeah, I loved it, like, I loved it, and I have never seen anything so beautiful than the views I saw on the way to California and in California, like, seeing the, the California beach for the first time, Actually, seeing a real beach for the first time was amazing. I know in Texas we have our beaches, but they're not, they're, they ain't nothing compared to a California beach, y'all. Like, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna say, you guys, I'm a Texas girl. Like, I love Texas. I am a Texas ride or die, but our beaches, they are just, they're just not it. <laughs> um, but yeah, to answer the question, yes, I love to travel and I would love to have some travel plans. Hope come hopefully in like 2021 20, or so like that'd be really awesome but obviously like not thinking about that right now because it's just not the time to think about travel plans but I do love to travel um the second one is do you like being a fashionista that one is obviously like a robotic answer and if you real I'm sorry <laughs> um but that question like takes me back to like my high school days <laughs> no sorry for my because if you guys didn't know, I went to um, Thomas Jefferson High School and I went there as a magnet student. And the magnet program I was in was called like the Fashion Design Group and we were called the TJ Fashionista. So that just makes me giggle a little bit, but I guess so. <laughs> to answer your question, um, yeah, okay, let's take a bite of this taco. I'm kind of getting full though. <laughs> mm. So, cream. so the very last question is what motivates you every day and this was sent in by my friend Anna so thank you Anna um I guess like especially now like in quarantine um I guess like something that motivates me every day is like I guess knowing that tomorrow is gonna be a new day like a different day a better day even if it's like more productive or if it's not um especially going back to like what I was saying earlier at the very beginning, like I definitely have my days where I'm like on and off. And I feel like if I have an off day, then I'm like, okay, tomorrow's going to be a better day. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to give Ranger a walk. I am going to um, get ready, take a shower, put my makeup on, and then just have a good day. Maybe get a workout in. And then like, let's say if I have a super busy day one night and I'm just like, oh, I'm so tired. Then I'll be like, okay, tomorrow's a new day. I can just relax. So I don't know if that really makes sense, but I can definitely say that, especially for now, especially like in these uncertain times that definitely like knowing that tomorrow is a new day really motivates me and then like putting my trust into God and praying and like believing that I will have a good day and like be thankful for a new day. So definitely seeing it like that um, tomorrow, like it's a new day. Always, even if you did something that you weren't proud of or you didn't like or whatever, tomorrow's a new day. And I feel like that's an easy option, but especially for these times it's so true and so necessary to keep those thoughts because I know I'm not the only one that's having a hard time in this quarantine in this weird uncertain time so but that's all the questions I got so thank you guys for <laughs> sending those questions in I really appreciate it um but yeah I actually am getting so full you guys like I've <laughs> I don't know if it's because like you know like when you like eat slow and you talk and stuff and like you're hanging out like you get full faster Maybe that's what's going on with me because like normally I could like totally down two tacos. Maybe I did have this little, this thing. Maybe I shouldn't have got that. But one last bite for the YouTube. Alright you guys, so I think I'm going to go ahead and close the video out here. If you've come this far, thank you so much for watching and for sticking around. Hopefully you would stick around and subscribe. Um, But yeah, didn't I actually, didn't I get a dessert? did so i got these um cinnamon 
little bikes. Let's just show these real quick. Look at this amazing, glorious thing. They're like little fried cheese. Is it like cream cheese with like sugar and cinnamon? These are really good. Let's take a bite. Mm. They're definitely like fried and like cream cheese filling. I can't really tell. My filling sucks, I guess. <laughs> but oh wow, so good. But I got two of those. I'm so full. I can't eat no more, y'all. I can't do it. I just can't do it. All right. Well, I think this is going to conclude today's video. Again, thank you guys for sticking around. Hopefully you would stick around and subscribe, but if you don't, I guess it's okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you tried this taco, let me know your thoughts down below. It's definitely really spicy, um, but I definitely think you should try it out. Obviously, be safe when going out. If you can order Uber Eats, if you can take, do your takeout or your curbside or whatever, do that. Um, but yeah, this was so good. I, I'm not like a big Taco Bell fan, and I don't eat it often. I feel like it's like my little like treat to cheat deal, but 10 out of 10 recommend this taco. It's so good. This guy, not so much. Uh, I'm not crazy about it. These little bite deals, cinnamon, super good. But yeah. Oh, and then this wild strawberry drink. So good. This would be really good. Like maybe some tequila. Just kidding. Um, anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and hop on off. Thank you for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs> my fingers are oh, they're not right they look right on camera bye <laughs>